And President Barack Obama is coming under fire from Congress for launching the military operation there without approval from the lawmakers. Artis Gaynet Chikan reports now from Washington. U.S. lawmakers are saying that President Obama has to either stop waging war in Libya or ask for congressional approval. The lawmakers claim that the military action will violate the 1973 War Powers Resolution if it does not end by Friday. And they mean this Friday, 90 days after the intervention began. Under the U.S. Constitution, to wage a long-term war, the president needs to get authorization from Congress. Analysts say the Obama administration will certainly find a way to get around the requirements by referring to his rights as commander-in-chief as well as uh, certain legal speak. You know, up to this day, the administration has refused to say war when it comes to their actions in Libya. They call it... Um, kinetic military action, but as a result of that kinetic military action, civilians are bombed every day. A group of international observers is now in Tripoli, including a former U.S. Congresswoman, Cynthia McKinley. We spoke with her a few days ago. She said they heard and they counted 89 blasts in just one day. Those are civilian neighborhoods. 89 bombs dropped in just one day. There is a lot of concern that the voices of those who are caught up in that horror in Tripoli go unnoticed in the international community. But here in the U.S., it seems the voices of the majority of Americans, those who oppose the U.S. military involvement in Libya, also go unnoticed by the White House. The administration continues to stress the good cause that they pursue in Libya, but some analysts say the administration also seems to be in denial when it comes to the will of their own people regarding the issue, as well as constitutional procedures. Legal experts say there is not much congressmen can do to force the president to comply at least with the U.S. Constitution, because there are ways to get around, ways the Obama administration seems to be using extensively. Most congressmen now criticize President Obama for, as they say, ignoring Congress. But Capitol Hill observers say it's mostly political games that the lawmakers are playing to score points by snubbing the president. Come the day to actually vote, the majority of them will vote for more military spending, as they always do. But there is a small bipartisan group of congressmen, 10 people in it, who went further than verbal rebukes, and they sued President Obama on the grounds that he's violating the Constitution. But everybody here knows that the lawsuit is certain to be dismissed on procedural grounds because the U.S. Supreme Court has determined that members of Congress do not have standing to file such suits. And this is where it hits a dead end, that it makes many wonder whether or not U.S. lawmakers actually have the capacity to effectively represent the people.